private space to really enjoy a luxury vacation. And explain to me again the, this, who is a service curator? So our service curators will bespoke and plan every part of the vacation from the minute it's booked all the way through while you're here until we say goodbye. Gotcha. So they're pretty much at the beck and call. They'll plan all your tours. They'll they'll be the one communicating with chef. Um, right. They'll be the one communicating with the housekeepers, making sure everything is done exactly how you want it. So they're they're pretty much trained butlers. Right. Um, they're going to be they're certified butlers. Um, but we use the word service curators because it's all about attending to the service that Silver Sands offers. Gotcha. Um, This morning we are here at the lovely Silver Sands Grenada. And I'm, and I'm Francine Stewart, the Director of Sales and Marketing at Silver Sands Grenada. And today we are going to just, you know, look at the resort, look at the hotel and see what you're missing if you're not here. Correct. Um, I know the Hello. camera is going, to, is going to show you some good stuff, but to really enjoy it, you must be at the Silver Sands Grenada. Yes. Right? <coughs> uh, where is Grenada? Where is this hotel located? Okay. Well, Silver Sands Grenada is um, in Grenada, and Grenada is one of the last um, truly magical um, destinations in the Caribbean, undiscovered, untouched, um, very well unknown. And because of that, we like to say we're the last um, gem in the Caribbean. We are located just 10, 15 minutes from the airport. Um, we opened December 2018, so kind of lost two years, but a brand new luxury resort. Our owner, Mr. Sahiris, is from Egypt, and he wanted to build something in Grenada that is truly never seen in this part of right, the Caribbean. Right. Not just Grenada, but this part of the Caribbean. Um, it's the first hotel to be built on Grand Anse Beach in over 25 years. Right. So that was a mass solar treatment for Grenada on its own. He wanted something luxury, contemporary, um, modern, sophisticated, chic, all of the above to offer that um, discerning guest something new to go to right. um, and somewhere new to go to, somewhere where they haven't heard of um, and truly discover not just Silver Sands, but the destination Grenada. Right. And you mentioned um, the Grand Anse Beach. I've heard it called by many different names. Some people say St. Anne, some people, <laughs> all different types of um, pronunciations. But what is so magnificent about Grand Anse Beach? Well, Grand Anse Beach was voted one of the best white sand beaches in the Caribbean by Condé Nast a few years ago. And you, you did say one of the best, right? One of the best. We, we want to make that clear. Yes. So if you're here, you, you, you're not only staying in the best resort on the island, yes. but you have access right on beach the front. beach. Beachfront. Silver island. Sands is on Grand Anse Beach. Like literally, step out of your room and moments your toes in sand. Yes, um, and when I say one of the best is because um, Grenada has, you know, numerous beaches, black sand, white sand, but Silver Sands is on Granite Beach. We're located on the northern side of Granite Beach, which may, and we're on one end of the beach. Right. So it makes you feel as if you're on a private beach. It's, it's truly um, secluded and our guests simply love it. And one of the things that I noticed when I was looking at the, the word Silver Sands, the letters were broken in pieces. Yes. <laughs> Is that an architecture mistake or what? Definitely what, what's the not. story behind that? Yes. So, Silver Sands Grenada is, um, our tagline is find the hidden. Ah, I gotcha. Yes. Yeah, so, the pieces of each letter is missing um, to indicate that you truly have to come and find the hidden of the resort. Okay. I've seen pools in my life and I've seen a lot of beautiful pools. But there's just something about this one. It is, it's special. <laughs> so we have the longest resort pool in the Caribbean. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm waiting to see if any, no one has challenged us yet. Not yet? No, so it is a, exactly 100 meters long. Okay. And as you can see, it's also, it starts from the lobby and once guests step out of their transfers and they step in, it seems as if it's going straight into the ocean. Right. Yeah, um, it has become one of the most Instagrammable photos opportunities of the resort. And I can see why, because um, I mean, when you look at something like this, it's not, you don't see this every day. No. 
and you know even if you do a great deal of traveling this is very unique yes now do you take advantage of the length of the pool to have like pool parties what can your guests expect when they come to this this place the, the pool is exactly as you see it it's, it's meant to be relaxing um, as you can see we have the cabanas on the side and we do offer challenges we okay. do say to our guests swim laps it's four feet deep all the way on purpose so you can so they can rest you when can they rest tired. you can okay. stop and start back no one will know <laughs> the difference um, so yeah it's, it's it's meant to be just just that to offer a relaxing moment um, to swim or just sit we have a smaller one on the side where guests can sit um, enjoy a cocktail okay. um, you know and, and watch a sunset so now I'm looking at these cabanas right now if if you're a guest at this hotel do you have to pay extra for the cabanas no yes um, they're first come first serve there's no extra charge for right. the cabanas okay good good yes. Kitty pool, what's yes, um, it has evolved into a kitty pool. Um, the kids love it, so but as well as the adults love it, it's perfect for having a drink. You know, you can just sit down, right. enjoy the sunsets. We have the amazing, most amazing sunsets here all year round. Um, doesn't matter what time of the year you come, right. we always get the twilight hour, and in the evenings, guests can come down and the, the children hang out during the day. That's where they are. And, and I remember you said that you know you can just walk out from the from the hotel on the beach and just a few meters and you're on the beach, right? Yes, yes. And this is true. And the nice thing about this beach, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that it's not closed um, uh, to the public, right? Anyone can come and swim. All beaches in Grenada are public. Public beaches. Yes, right? all beaches in Grenada. But what's cool about our, where we are on the beach is we're on one end of the beach. Um, right. On mornings you can see. You know, um, Grenadians enjoying a swim. Right. Um, so we're on a dead end. Our hotel spans all the way down to the end of the beach. Right. Um, and our guests simply love how pristine, how untouched, how simply amazing. I don't come down here enough. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, you'll never find thousands of visitors right. on the beach. We are not, we're not that. Right. And um, another, another thing that a lot of people have um, concerns about is the fact that in some hotels there are, there are people who come on the grounds selling stuff. Um, would I expect that if I, if I come here? No, it's allowed? managed. It's managed. It's managed, okay, yes. Um, we understand the reasons why they need to do that. Um, right. The vendors, the local vendors, they need to do that. But all vendors, we have the, the craft vendors market right next door. Right. So, Everybody goes there. We don't have that. We don't have that problem here. Or guests, you know, the, the vendors don't come up. We usually encourage the guests to go visit the vendors market and contribute. Mike, welcome to 125. 125. Yes. Yeah. It's our one bedroom suite. There's only one like it, so it's considered really special. All right. Um, as you can see, it's um, expansive. It comes with a dining room. It's perfect for um, couples, families, um, with children, because it has a connecting door. Um, okay. So it can connect and become a two bedroom as well. 
It has a pantry, it has a half bathroom, um, and then it has the, the bedroom over on this side. I'm looking at this um, suite in room number, oh, I shouldn't say room number, so it's suite, suite. 125. It's a one, yeah, the room number is 125, but um, it's our one bedroom suite. One bedroom suite. Yeah. And you said that's the only one. We only have suite. one right. like this. We have junior suites as well. Right. The junior suites are um, an open plan with the bedroom and the living area all right. in one. Right. Um, but this is our one bedroom suite where you have the bedroom separate from the living and dining spaces. And I can see here you have dining for eight, eight so people. So eight persons, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, one of the things I like to point out in each of our accommodations, as you walk through the resort, Mr. Sahiri's um, loves art. So right. throughout the resort you would get unique pieces of art. Um, there's no two pieces of art exactly alike, so no matter where you go. Right. Um, I've become an art lover because of it. And there's just unique paintings um, and just art from all over the world, carefully chosen by himself and his team um, for the resort. So art lovers, we attract art lovers as well. Um, when they come, they, they, they realize that. They realize the unique pieces of art throughout, wherever you go. So it's hand-selected by the owner and his team? Yes. Together, yes. Right? When we were getting ready to open, um, it's one of the key features he wanted to have in the resort. So as you walk into the bedroom, you have a full walking closet here. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, the lights goes on as you walk in. Oh, okay. So it's... <laughs> It come in, motion, the light comes on, on. Yes. it goes out and it comes yeah. on. So enough space for all that she has to travel with. <laughs> Notice she said that she has to travel with. So is this the, the, the female closet and there's a, a male closet no, in a little a corner female. somewhere else? Yeah, this is male and female. Oh, that's the whole yes. thing, right. Yeah. yeah, and I must say it's, it's, it's nice, it's large. Yeah. Now I can only imagine coming to this place with one 50 pound suitcase with enough things to fill this. <laughs> Yeah. Because people still have to travel yeah. on the plane, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's nice. It's it's yeah. very large. Thank you. Yes. And this is this is the um, master so bedroom. So this will be guess? considered the master bedroom. Yes. Okay. Well, for the for the suite. Right. Um, so you have full um, sitting area and then amazing um, bathroom with his and hers. Right. Um, all our rooms have shower and tubs. And yes. it's not just a bathroom, but it's a bathroom with a view. With a view, yes. We are still in um, suite number 125. Yes. 125, located on the second floor. And um, I would say if you have the money, this is one... You see, she don't like when I talk about money because she says that this hotel attract uh, a special type of guest. Yes. So just the fact that they think of Silver everyone. Sand, yes. it's, Treat it, yourself. it's available, right? You it only live available. once. You do. Right, right. Yes. So while Actually, somebody told me you live every day. You only die once. One day at a time. Yes. That's, that's you correct. You live every day. Yes. And yes. I think COVID has um, taught us that. Yes. This amazing view. And, um, you know, in the distance, not, not too far distance, you can see the, I guess these are yachts. Mm -hmm. I guess these are people that's just on the island for a few days, just making a quick stop. Yes. But um, beyond that, when you look at the grounds, it is it is well kept, right? That you know, it's not too colorful like Carnival, but the flowers are neatly planted, and I can tell that they are hand selected and mm -hmm. they're it, the locations that where, where they are. It's, it's really nice. Yes, our flora and fauna is one of our pride. The gardeners take really good extra pride in, in looking after their um, their babies, as they call them. Um, technically, we're not allowed to walk on the grass. Right. Um, and they keep it, this, and it's like this all year round. Right. All year round. Um, and it's one of the comments we get a lot from our guests, is right. how nice, well-kept the gardens are. Um, and it brings that homey feeling to the resort. To the resort, right? Yes. So tell me something about the temperature. If I'm coming from wherever, um, what's the best time to come? Is there a, a better time? Is there a, a warmer time? What, what is it like coming in? It's perfect all year. 12, 12 months. January to February. 365 yes. days, right? Grenada, so it gets a bit cooler November into like February. And when you but say cooler... I just mean nice. I just right. mean like, gotcha. yeah. Not, yeah. Not, not 30 your, degrees. No, right, no. Gotcha. It's just there's a cooler breeze that comes off of the ocean. 
Um, summertime is typically a bit more humid. Right. Um, it's also considered a rainy season, right. but it's not the monsoon rains. Right. It's, it's literally um, nice, short showers early in the morning, sometimes in the afternoons. Um, and, you know, guess it's, it's a rainy season of the IKEA, but it's like five minutes, you know. So someone referred to it as liquid sunshine. It's liquid sunshine, You said yes. that that comes every day to keep the grass green and healthy. Yes, correct, right. yes. And that's year-round? It's year-round. Um, may I also point out that Grenada sits right outside the hurricane belt. So we're that, not that's considered, very important. Yeah, yeah, we're not considered part of the hurricane islands. Um, right. Now, Mother Nature's in charge. Yes, every now yes. and then, um, we may get a tropical watch or a tropical um, um, storm warning, but we have not been hit, um, thankfully, by any hurricane since 2004. And that was Hurricane um, Ivan, I That believe, was Hurricane right? Ivan. Yeah. Before that was many months ago, in the 60s, I believe, with Hurricane Janet. Yes. Yeah. So... I think I did some research and it was in 1955, I believe. Right. If, if my memory or my yes, research. Yes, you are, yeah. Right. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so saying that is just to say, you know, we are in a safe zone. It is safe to come. Yep, it is safe to come right. all year round. And from, I must also say, from the United States to um, Grenada, it's about four so and a half hours. From maybe? New York with yeah. JetBlue, from JFK, it's right. five hours. Five hours. Yes. yes. Right. Um, and we have daily flights right. with um, JetBlue and from Miami with American Airlines it's three and a half hours and we have daily flights from Miami with American Airlines right. and for the season we'll have a second Miami flight and we'll also have a Charlotte flight. Oh okay gotcha. Yeah from Toronto you have Air Canada and Sunwing um, I believe two three times a week. Right and if if you were to if we were to give like a ratio what's the um, the most guests come into not only Grenada, but to Silver Sand. Most of them come from where? The U.S. From the U.S. Yeah, Silver right. Sands. Um, what percentage have, would you say? We have about 70%. From the U.S.? From the U.S., gotcha. yeah. And the other 30s are mixed between the U.K. and the rest of the world. Gotcha. It seems as though this is a place for couples only, or am I wrong? You're... I don't like to use the word wrong, but you're not absolutely correct. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so the Sands is for everyone. Um, okay. We welcome couples, um, families, and um, we literally curate activities for the age group of children that are coming in. Right, right. So that's how curated the vacation is for guests coming. So we literally look and see what age groups mm -hmm. and the team put together activities. And sometimes we do that and the kids literally just want to do what mommy and daddy is doing. And I think COVID has done that to us. Right, right, yes. um, They want to just sit by the pool, chill out, hang out. Um, we're on the beach so they can play in the sand. If the children would like to do something with the team, snorkeling um, with the girls, they can get their hair braided, mm -hmm. they can go into um, to the spa and do some stuff, you know, with the, right. with the ladies there. Um, so usually we give, we have baskets of toys right. that we present the parents with on arrival. So, and it's, we tell the parents no need to bring their floaties or any of their beach toys. Oh, we have, very good, very good. Yeah, we have beach toys literally for every age group. Right. So you can customize it for the kids if they decide yes. to do something. Yes. But if they just want to hang out with their parents, it's, it's, it's fine It's also. fine as well, yes. Right. The only thing we ask is that parents um, supervise the children by the Right, home. it's important. Yeah. Right. Yes. So at Silver Sands, we're not just, you know, not, it's just not hotel rooms and suites. We have amazing villas. This is our beachfront four bedroom villa. And what is the difference between, let's say, a villa versus a suite versus a bedroom? Well, let's go have a look and see. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll discover that <laughs> yes. together. Oh. That would seem like a gentleman. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. So here we have our four-bedroom beachfront pool villa. 
So as it says, it's literally on the beach. Right. Um, it has four bedrooms and it is absolutely magnificent. And, and you were saying to me that the, the villa is far different from a regular room. Yes. And you're about to show me that. Yes. So, so go ahead, sorry. Yeah, sorry, it's okay. The villas come um, with a well-appointed My Dream Kitchen, uh -huh. a full pantry, ice machine. Um, also comes with um, what we are referring to as our service curator. So like a host to look after all the guest needs. Right. Um, so full kitchen. Chef services are available at additional cost. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it's not just a microwave. No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's more than that. Yes. You know, so with all the bells and whistles, all the toys um, that a kitchen of a villa of this type Right. would want. Um, barbecue grill, washer dryer, um, it's literally your home while right. you're here. And here we have a refrigerator that's built into the into the wall. Am I opening it properly? Mm -hmm. I guess not. Oh, there you go. Ice so machine. the villas come with as well as um, water, all non-alcoholic beverages. Right and your tea, coffee. And I don't need a chef to prepare my stuff, right? I can, you can buy my stuff and you, yeah, cook we my can, food. Yeah, we can do shopping for you before you come. Okay. Um, and you're free to do your own cooking. Right. Um, breakfast is included in all our rates. Right. So breakfast can be served in, in what we call in-room dining. Right. Um, or you can have you know, pre-arranged chef services. Right. At additional cost, where chef, as, you know, but breakfast is included. So you, most times guests preset their menus for lunch and dinner. So who normally calls and book a villa? Is it the regular, regular everyday guy, or as you said to me, there is no such thing as a regular person, right? Everyone is I'm treated. Have to crack him out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the villas are perfect for your multi-generational families. We're seeing a lot of that now. Okay. Families traveling with the grandparents and you know the in-laws right. and um, the brothers coming with his family and or um, a group of friends. Right. You know, we're seeing a lot of that now as well. And um, so rather than having one bedroom, they get this whole place. For they themselves. get this whole place. Um, what makes the villas unique? is that the bedrooms are not connected to the living areas. Right, right. So the bedrooms become private. Gotcha. Um, there's no hallways to run into someone. Mm. And all the bedrooms have their own bathrooms. And of course you have a so pool. So I could, I could tell you what I like about this villa already. Yes. The personal pool. Yes. Right? Yes. So although you have a, what is it, a 100 meter pool outside? You still have. Then you still have. Yes. So when we're at when we're at and I would say capacity, I would say a large pool. It is. Yes, Some hotels yes. have this size pool. Exactly. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's correct. That's correct. Yes. Um, you know, we were talking about the weddings markets. Um, mm. We actually have a couple getting married um, in a villa on December thirty first. Okay. Um, so they've taken extra rooms, and but they're getting married here right. um, on the beach in front of their in front of the in villa. In front of their villa. Yes. Yeah. So in terms of what else makes it unique, it comes to its own pool, its own kitchen, you have a service curator, um, the non-alcoholic beverages, mm -hmm. and a private space to really enjoy a luxury vacation. And explain to me again, the, this, who is a service curator? So our service curators will bespoke and plan every part of the vacation, from the minute it's booked, all the way through while you're here, until we say goodbye. Gotcha. So they're pretty much at the beck and call. They'll plan all your tours. They'll they'll be the one communicating with chef. Um, right. They'll be the one communicating with the housekeepers, making sure everything is done exactly how you want it. So they're they're pretty much trained butlers. Right. Um, they're going to be they're certified butlers. Um, but we use the word service curators because it's all about attending to the service that Service Sense offers gotcha. um, in a curated manner, bespoke to the guest. Not every guest. It's Get the one. same. Okay. Cool. So you might want your breakfast, you may be an early riser and mm -hmm. you want your breakfast 
at 6 a.m., but the rest of your party wants their breakfast at 10 a.m. So they'll pay particular attention to that. I got you. So it doesn't mean that everybody has to meet in the dining room or at the table. No, they'll at 10 make sure. You no, know, they'll make sure everybody is taken care of individually Good. or together as a group, right. however they wish. Right. And not only do they have the pool, but they have toes in the sand. To the beach as well. Yes, yeah. toes in the sand. Yeah. Yes. So we can go into the master bedroom. Okay. Um, you know, here's a good way you can see. They're on the corners of the main area. So there's two at the front and then two towards the rear of the villa. Oh, I got you. So the, the bedrooms are on the side of each yeah, side of the so pool. Yeah, so this is your yeah. So this is right. your master here. And then this is your second because they're all they're all like master bedrooms because right. they come with their own bathrooms and stuff. So we're going to this one first. Yeah. That this has become um, one of the Instagram little reels and stuff that guests do when they're here. They lay on the bed yeah. and they open, <laughs> they literally play with it. That's it. They open and close these blinds and curtains, and there's blinds and curtains there, and they open and close it, and they, yeah. yeah so it's it's one of the unique features for the resort is mosquito control nets. Yeah. Um, Yes, <laughs> electric mosquito control nets. All of our accommodations and all of our rooms. Oh, so yeah. this is not unique to the villa? No, gotcha. the entire resort, each room has mosquito control nets. Um, we also have Sonos and guests can pair their devices um, with our system. Oh, so, pretty cool. Yes. So I can listen to my own music? You can. Right. And, and in the villas, you can be listening to your music here and your friends or family can be listening to something else. Something totally different. Yep. Yeah, now so. your partner can be listening to something else in the bathroom. So I could be listening to Calypso, somebody could be listening to reggae, somebody could be listening Correct. to gospel, yes. salsa, whatever. Yes. Right? Yes. And this is the this is the master bedroom. Yes. And this leads into the mat one of the master bathrooms. Yes, this is yeah, villa, right? within the villa. This is right. the biggest one. So we okay. consider this one the, the master. Right. Um it's a nice sitting area here, um, full his and her. Vanity, um, and as I mentioned earlier, even in the villas, we have shower and tubs. Right. And then one of the unique features for our villa bathroom, you know, from your master bedroom, you can go straight into your bathroom. It's perfectly designed with a nice sitting area. Um, his and her vanities, um, amazing shower. Of course, bathtub with a garden view and ocean view. And one of the unique features with the bathrooms in the villas are the outdoor showers.
bedrooms are exactly like this. It comes with a plunge pool. Now, question for you on the plunge pool. Is it heated or it's not? No, it's okay. just, no, it's not heated. It's just jet. It's jet.